I'm turning 16 and we're at a strip club. It's okay. There's not going to be Marlon. any strippers. Marlon, no. I do have some reservations about having Essence Swarty at a strip club, but they had everything they wanted. Dance floor, place to sit, and the price was right. This is unacceptable. This is a strip club. She's having a Sweet 16 birthday party. Sweet 16, girl, right here in the red. Ew. Velvet? Velvet. I don't want my friends to talk about me, and they're going to talk about me if they come up in here looking like this. They're not going to even know. There's a pole right there. What you mean? The pole will have decorations. They're not going to even see it. You can smell it in the air. No, you can't club. smell it. This will go down in history books as one of his cheapest moments in the history in our family. Come on in. Thank you. Take a look around. It's wow. so different than this the last shot. fantastic. Shop. I have made uh, basically an entire career of making my artwork for next to nothing. I knew Ben, you know, 20, 25 years ago. He was a, you know, young, struggling artist. I make a sculpture using little scraps of neon tubing, and I get it all for free. Your work deserves a bigger audience. I think that you should have a gallery show. Oh. Ben Livingston, phosphorescent works. Huh. Well, I have a lot of respect for what you have to say, Amy. I have an idea. I'm gonna do a show right here. Well, good idea. I'm into it if you are. Really? Yeah, let's do it. Very cool. All right. So instead of hosting a show at an art gallery, I'm gonna host it right here in my home. But I don't want to spend anything, right? I'm cutting up t-shirts to substitute them as napkins, because napkins cost about two bucks a pack, I think. I am not spending a penny over four dollars. I gotta get food together, drinks together. I'm willing to put my best foot forward. So I'm going all the way. Frankenfurters. Probably gonna cut them about like that. That should be enough. Yeah, like dime size. I bought a fine Cabernet Sauvignon. It comes in a box. And I thought I had a great idea. I thought I'll add some of that really pure water to it and some of the watermelon that I had bought and turn it into a fine sangria, right? There we go. We'll just float. Oh, that looks like fruity, doesn't it? So people are like coming through here for an art show that I've put together and I'm so excited. Oh, welcome everybody. Hey, this is great. Welcome to my art show. Come on in, y'all. We got wine and stuff to eat. Come on in. So this is it. This is Ben's big art show, and I'm really, really excited. I've got a lot of important people here. A lot of personal friends of mine are here, but I think he's gonna come through. Can you turn on the air condition? Uh, we, we got food over here, and we like made all this stuff. You guys help yourselves. This is Ben's idea of a good appetizer. He stuck a toothpick in the weenie. That's disgusting. Wine. Yeah, we got wine. wine here, sangria. It's kind of like watery or something. The wine was a little questionable, I think, but the art was really nice. What is this? Help yourself. Come on, have one. I think that it's great that you're here to support the arts. And, and you know, and I'm, I'm just want to save money. You know, if I went to the store and I spent all this money or I got a caterer, I couldn't afford to, to be an artist. I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. Whoa. It's got kind of an Asian flair. If I was to describe this whole experience, I'd have to say funky. This is what I call the wedding room. And this is where I'm keeping all of my daughter Ashley's things that we're collecting for her wedding. And this is probably my cheapest room in the whole house. That's a wedding room? I thought it was a pile of crap room. This is a satin sheet, but we're gonna use it for your table as a tablecloth. Don't worry about that, that'll be hidden. My mom's wedding room is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. These I got for free. I didn't tell her to buy any of that stuff. That is a bug catcher. You put it over your bed. The stuff my mom's got, just kind of stuff that she thinks looks good. This is going to be cute. No, no. We are going to hang this from the ceiling and have these, and we're going to put those lights through it, and you can get married under it. Oh, wow. Well. It'll be cute. I don't see it anymore. 
It'll okay. be very cute. Remember how we talked about you could have gone to Vegas or you could have gone to the Justice of the Peace, right? I remember. My mom was hell-bent on us eloping. She didn't want to pay for our wedding. It's cheap or it's not at all. Is this just a number? Well, eloping may be out of the question. An expensive wedding is not an acceptable solution. I went through and made kind of a list of everything that I thought we still needed. My future in-laws are going to be so not OK with this wedding budget or anything. His mom, <laughs> she is going to flip out. I have planned for this wedding to have a budget of $1,000. Mm. $1,000? Mm -hmm. Um, so what are we having at this wedding? Shelly and I are different as far as spending money because I'm all about getting the best. The saying that you get what you pay for, you get what you pay for. I mean, $10,000 is a very low budget for a wedding. Got have you really gym. given this a lot of thought? I don't believe that we should be spending that much money for things that we're only going to use for one night. I planned on spending a couple thousand dollars on rehearsal dinner. Yeah. So how are you going to do a thousand dollars on a wedding? We're going to have everybody could bring a dish, their favorite dish from home. And then for the alcohol, it's BYOB. A wedding should not be catered by potluck and BYOB. I'm sorry, that is so tacky. I'm really embarrassed about that. OK, so where is the venue? I have a venue in mind that we, we can go look at today. A good venue for a wedding is the decor. You want to come in and feel, oh, wow. Most traditional wedding venues would exceed Shelly's entire wedding budget by at least $4,000. But like everything, she's found a way to save that money instead. Come on, you guys. When are we going to the venue? This, this is the venue. venue. My perfect venue would look Victorian, and I would like chandeliers on the ceiling, and they have to be really high ceilings. This is no, the venue. No, Mom, this is a high school. Oh, trust home. me, you're going to like it. Yes, it is a high school, but and it's going to be mom. good. Hey. Hi. Nice to meet you're you. You're Andrew. Andrew. Hi, I'm Shelly. Hi. This is where you're going to get married. No way. <laughs> you're, yes. OK. This is where it's we're getting perfect. married? Yes. Here, I know the people, and they're letting us use it for free. So that's the difference. There's a net on the ceiling. Well, nobody's going to look up. Shelly, you're so Just funny. No, I'm serious. No, you're not. Now, if Denise were planning the wedding, she would want our kids to get married in the country club. And the best part about it is that it's free, because my friends work here. So this is a perfect place to get married. I thought it was a joke. Nobody in the right mind is serious about having it in a gym. No. It's ridiculous. There's Maybe no perfect. lights. We'll set up some lights. Ashley really wants a nice wedding. And Shelly won't let me help. She said, no, that's not what it's all about. She don't want to have to waste the money on a couple hours. I, I can't. I can't. No, I can't. You guys, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. No, 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 be no, fine. No, I promise. No. I promise you it will be fine. A wedding cake is really important in a wedding. Hi, can I help you? We are looking for a wedding cake. All right. I really like that one a lot. Ready? You're probably looking at right around 400 We have a budget of $1,000. For the cake? Her eyes kind of got big, and she was kind of excited because she's like, oh, for the cake? And I'm like, no, that's for the whole wedding. Total, total. total. Yeah. I think spending $400 on a wedding cake is ridiculous. That is wasted money. It costs, what? $2 for a cake mix. It's just a centerpiece. It's like a decoration. I can make a cake, a sheet cake. Don't laugh. OK, Brittany can make the sheet cake. My mom thought we could just bake a cake, so she asked me. I can bake, and heaven knows she can't. And we can serve that to the guests, and then we get something else for the decoration part. How about if we borrow your display cake over there? She asked her if she could take her display, her fake display, and we can stage a wedding cake. To show off at the wedding? Right. Yes. I've never had anyone ask me to use the display before, so that, that was pretty unusual. We'll get you a good dress now. OK, come on, guys. It's this way. 
not a thrift shop. I know, it's better than a oh thrift gosh, shop. I, I feel like I'm gonna get lost robbed. Your yes, mind. we're gonna have good deals in here. Hi, Byron. I'm Shelly, I talked to you on the phone about wedding dresses. Where can we find them? They're in back. Oh, okay. Well, we've got a couple wedding dresses we've taken in over the years. I went ahead and pulled them out for you. Watch your step. Watch what you grab, because we literally have rats that are side the cats back here. Oh my gosh. I feel sorry for Ashley. She could not believe that her mother actually dragged us down there to this god-awful place. Okay. Oh, God. Let me see. Turn around. That's kind of cute. <laughs> no, Mom. At the Renaissance Festival? Yeah. No. That is just ridiculous and sad. It's the definition of horrific. No. All right. It's a no. All right. Well, let's see the next one. They were nice dresses. There were three that Ashley could choose from. Oh, that one's pretty. I can't move. Oh. Well, it's because it might be a little tight, but you can live can for a couple hours. <laughs> oh, oh, that yeah, one's that's pretty. That's not bad. That that's is bad. very pretty. I, I like that. I like really that. Good. That is gorgeous. That will look very good in the gymnasium. Oh. What's that? Ew. What's that? Oh. What's that? Okay, yeah, and no, that's not from the last wedding. That's P. Oh. What? He wasn't kidding about the rats, guys. <laughs> you know oh. what, though? That's a good thing, because now we can get a bigger discount. I've always known Shelly to be cheap, but after this, she blew me away. I didn't know people like that could really be that cheap. Okay, we have a problem here. Oh, it has rat pee. Um... What's the best price we can get on this, considering it's damaged? 150 is what I paid for it. I'm just selling it to you just to yeah. get rid of it. Mm, no, this isn't worth 150. I mean, how much no. would a dress like this cost new? Used with rat pee? It's not going to be 150. You don't know that it's rat pee. It could be something else. It could just be beer or something. No, smell it. Smell it. No, smell it. Really, smell it. Shelly seemed quite insistent that that was a rat pee, but I'm really not sure. I'll do 100 on it. But that's as low How as about I can 50? Go. Back down there in line one. Well, 100 isn't the middle. It's a lot closer than 75. 50 is. <laughs> 75 would be in the middle. All right, we'll do 75. <laughs> You'll do 75? 75. Do you want the dress? I do want the dress. Okay, right. we'll do 75. 75 it is. Mm -hmm. It's old. Thank All you. Right. Oh my goodness. I'm very excited about our wedding. I cannot wait to get married. After months of planning and extreme budgeting, it's finally the big day. Shelly's friends pitch in with last minute preparations, saving her $900 in catering staff costs. We are making these cheese sandwiches for the reception. There are no toothpicks, and she's having us put them on a styrofoam tray. Where's the rest of the plates? No, you're you're putting them all on one. They can just come get it. Just have I it on the table. I can serve it on this. My finger <laughs> sandwiches. You're supposed to pick them up with yeah, your fingers. fingers. Wait a second. Brought. These are the school trays. Yeah. Wait, she didn't even buy plates? I mean, when I walked into this venue, I was like, is this a wedding? We actually have more people than we thought, and they're all bringing their BYOB, and they're also bringing their food, and they seem very happy to do it. They had no problem. Is this what Gobi wanted? I don't think so. I don't think Gobi had a say in There's netting to keep it from things falling from the ceiling. Other than just straight up signing a piece of paper, I don't think it gets much cheaper than this. The big surprise that I have for this wedding that I have not told anyone yet is that I am an ordained minister and I am going to officiate this wedding. We are now gathered here 
to witness this union. By officiating the wedding herself, Shelly saves another $300. Between Colby Cosgrove and Ashley Watson. I think the most interesting part was that Shelly was the minister. She happened to get it last minute online. I, Ashley Watson, take Colby Cosgrove to be my lawfully wedded husband. I didn't even know you could do that. Till death do us part. For richer or poor, till death do us part. By the power invested to me by the Life Church Online, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Ashley you looked beautiful tonight, didn't she? I thought she did. She looked beautiful. I thought the food spread and the bring your own alcohol was uh, <laughs> a little unusual. I've been to a lot of weddings, but this is without a doubt the cheapest I've ever seen. I think our guests probably had a lot of fun because it was definitely not what they were expecting. I would concur with what she's saying. We had no idea how it was going to play out, but as the wedding went on, it was pretty nice. I think the decorations turned out a little better than I anticipated. You want us to cut the cake, but not cut the cake. Yes. How do we do that? Cut the cake. Can't open it. It's not it. real. With the fake cake, it was kind of a little awkward. Be careful. We have to take that back. But I guess it went better than I expected. So don't mess it up. But Brittany made a cake. All right. Well, it looks like we got to get to eat Brittany's Whoa. cake. Shove it in your face. Yay! <laughs> Everybody thought it was the most unique wedding they had ever seen. <laughs> this wedding was a slam dunk, especially with the bug nuts hanging from the basketball hoops. My youngest daughter, Essence, has a special birthday coming up. We would like to give her a nice party and let her enjoy being 16. So you have the venue, the food, the DJ, and decorations. We need decorations. And a gift on top of that? Sweet 16 only comes once. I think we can splurge just a little on our sweet 16th birthday party. I would want to go to a place with loud music, food, where my friends can just dance and have a fun time. We're on a budget. OK. okay? Essence, you're going to have to understand that. We're on a budget. The ladies at home want to spend a lot of money. I'm looking between $200 and $300. I've searched all over Houston to find a venue that was in my budget. And I think I found just the right place. We're almost here, guys. Essence has a sweet 16 birthday about to come up. And I've searched all over Houston to find a venue that was in my budget. Oh, hell no, Marlon. Let's get out and check it out, guys. No. We got a good deal on this place. Absolutely Gold diggers. Not. What does that this mean? Was the Essence. Right here. This is a strip bar. It's not open. No, you have my birthday at a strip club. I have friends that's coming in dresses and stuff. No. Let's Marlon. check it out. No. Don't knock it till you try it. Whoa. It okay. smells. It's ridiculous and it's inappropriate. It just was not what I thought Marlon would do for a venue. I'm turning 16 and we're at a strip club. It's OK. During the day, there's not going to be Marlon. any strippers. Marlon, no. I do have some reservations about having Essence Swarty at a strip club, but they had everything they wanted and the price was right. This is unacceptable. This is a strip club. She's having a sweet 16 birthday party. Sweet 16, girl, right here in the red. Ew. Velvet? Velvet. I don't want my friends to talk about me. And they're going to talk about me if they come up in here looking like this. They're not going to even know. There's a pole right there. What you mean? The pole will have decorations. They're not going to even see it. You can smell it in the air. The no, strip you can't club. smell it. There's lots of other venues we could have tried. I'm pretty sure of it. I've tried them. I've tried them. Other places were like $1,000. And that's more than our whole budget. These guys are going to give it to me for a couple of hundred dollars. Marlon, this is going above and beyond your cheapness. This has everything you ask for. A dance floor, place to sit. You have a great DJ booth over there. It's going to be awesome. Just give it a chance. It was kind of surprising somebody would actually want to host a Sweet 16 party here. Kind of different. Thought, what the heck. I know this is a strip club. Well, let's look at it this way. What you're getting is a great deal, because we're not open during the daytime. 
I understand there's a pole in there, but what regular club don't have a pole? The place is gonna be all yours. Nobody has to really know that it's a strip club. See, that sounds great. <laughs> this will go down in history books as one of his cheapest moments in the history in our family. Thanks for coming out. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hi, how are you? Thanks for coming. I can't believe my dad even booked this venue. My sister, I think she's glad that her friends are here, but at the same time, it's just like, I know she's embarrassed because I'm embarrassed for her. I think the party is a blast. People having fun, got good food, good music. The guys did a wonderful job decorating. Saved me a lot of money. I have some of my friends give me that look, like, why are we at a ship club? But so far, I really don't care. 